Hey guys, Cody with Princess Craft RV, and today we just wanted to talk about lithium batteries for just a few minutes. Um, here at Princess Craft, we do really like the XP-On 360 batteries. Um, they've got some really cool features. They've done a good job at designing them. They look fantastic. They don't weigh much, and they come with, I believe, the longest warranty in the market of 12 years on their um, VPR batteries. So this right, this battery, particular battery, is a 27 group battery. It is a 120 amp hour uh, capabilities of it. And with lithium, you're good for about a 90% discharge on the battery versus lead acid, which is only a 50% discharge. So being able to discharge this battery to 90%, what that means for you as the consumer is that you have 120 amp hours here and you can consume 90% of that before this battery probably will not be able to produce enough energy for you. Now with a standard lead acid, let's say you purchase a lead acid battery that's just good round numbers here of 100 amp hours. You only get to use 50% of that, which is gonna be 50 amp hours. So you would have to double, triple, quadruple your battery bank there to equal just one or two lithium batteries. And if you take the weight comparison and the cost comparison and the life expectancy, Lithium is the way to go up front. The, the initial investment is more expensive, but in the long run, it's gonna be a better outcome for you. You can uh, drain these down to pretty much nothing and your life expectancy is still gonna be good versus a lead, uh, standard lead acid battery. Um, a couple other features on this one that they have built into it already is gonna be a cold weather disconnect. One of the things about lithium is that you can't charge them below 32 degrees. Uh, it can cause damage to the lithium inside the battery. So they've built in a disconnect so it will not charge below 32 degrees, which is good for you. So you don't have to have additional components installed to disconnect them if that were to occur. The other thing about lithium is most trailers on the market, at least prior to probably 2019, did not come with a lithium charger installed in the trailer. Now the chargers that are in there will charge lithium, but they don't necessarily charge it to 100% efficiency. So you're not, you're making a good investment into lithium. So you might as well go ahead and make sure that you put in a charger that is gonna be capable of charging your lithium to 100%. So you can get the most out of it that you are trying to do. These are great options for people that love to boondock love to boondock or dry camp, whichever you would like to call it. Lithium, in my opinion, is really the way to go. Um, another thing with lithium, we did talk about chargers being installed in the trailer. Another thing to think about is gonna be a charger that's installed on your tow vehicle. Now with lithium, because they can absorb so much energy at a high, faster rate, most alternators on vehicles these days don't actually produce enough output to efficiently charge a lithium battery. Uh, they're designed to just run the basics of your vehicle and aren't necessarily designed to add additional batteries other than what's on the vehicle. So to pair with your XB on 360 battery, you can get an XB on 360 DC to DC charger. This installs on the vehicle in line on the charge line going to your trailer. And it's going to be a 25 amp boost to your alternator output, basically to go to the charge uh, for the battery. Now you can double up on these. You can use two of these together and jump that up to 50 amps output to uh, effectively charge your lithium battery. So something to think about there whenever you do your lithium, if you just wanna do the charger on board the trailer or making sure that your tow vehicle is, is uh, gonna be able to charge your lithium too. Another good way to recharge your lithium is going to be with solar panels. Uh, solar panels are a great option. You can do a carry out such as a panel like this, or you can do what we call a hard mount goes on the roof of the trailer. The carry out panels do a great, um, are a great alternative to hard mounts, uh, allows you to park your trailer in the shade and get your solar panel out into the sun uh, to recharge your battery so you can maintain that comfort in your trailer. Now, when you look for a solar panel, if you want to go that route, make sure the charge controller that comes with it is going to be lithium capable so you can effectively charge your lithium battery. 
couple other things on the XP on 360 batteries. Um, operating temperatures, uh, you can't charge below 32 degrees, but you can discharge this battery down to negative four. So you can get this thing pretty cold and you can still pull power from it. You just can't recharge it. Now, a cool thing about that though, is that a lot of batteries are stored in, on the tongue of a trailer or in an outside compartment. Being lithium, it's completely safe to install inside the trailer. So you can do a battery relocation, put them inside the trailer, and then you can keep them warm because you're going to probably be using your furnace to keep yourself warm, which will keep your batteries warm um, and allow them to continue to recharge, which is a great, uh, great benefit there for you as well. Uh, a little bit about the, the, the uh, build on the inside. Um, their connections are all bolted together, so there's no, there's no solder joints to break or anything like that. So these are designed uh, very robust. They're going to handle going down the road very well, maybe a little bit of banging around and you're not going to end up with any broken joints or anything like that. So everything continues to work. Just the best of everything is built into these batteries. Uh, the battery management system is built into them, um, and it's just top notch. Everything, everything about these, they've done such a great job. Um, the guys that started XB on 360 have been in the RV industry um, for a very long time, so they're not new to the industry. They started out with solar. Now they're doing batteries. Um, they just kind of go hand in hand. So it's a very cool uh, product and they've done a good job. Now, a couple other things about the XP Online of batteries. They do offer 24 group size. They offer 27 group size. And the new one that's gonna be coming out is gonna be their, uh, their Custom 360, which is a single battery. Uh, I believe it's gonna be about two of these in size. It's gonna be 360 amp hours in one battery. So, um, very cool battery. You're going to have a ton of load if you decide to go with a 360 amp hour single battery. It's just a really cool uh, product and they just continue to grow their uh, battery lineup and do the most innovative stuff that you can get. All right, guys, thanks for coming along with me today as we talked about uh, lithium batteries and a little bit of solar and some other charging options for your lithium batteries. Again, this is Cody with Princess Craft RV. If uh, you have any further questions about any of these products, don't hesitate to reach out and uh, we can go over it.